Our morning inspiration this morning is compliments of Claudia Greenwood. Welcome, Claudia. Hi, Mans. How <laughs> are you? Awesome, and you? Good, thank you. What Good. is your message to take us into the weekend? Well, today we're going to be talking about our ridiculous silent labels. Ridiculous silent labels. Yes. Wow. Okay, that sounds interesting. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> Mandy, we all, if we, whether we want to admit it or not, we all talk to ourselves silently. We <laughs> and then you get asked if you talk back that there's something wrong with you. I know. That's first, <laughs> you answer first, yourself. First sign of madness, hey. <laughs> but you know what? If we answer ourselves, sometimes we resolve a whole lot of stuff, <laughs> don't we? Makes um, sense. Yeah. So these labels that we're speaking about today are the things that we, we tell ourselves. We sometimes are aware of them. Sometimes... They're so, such silent labels that we actually don't even know that they're there. It's when we tell ourselves things that actually stop ourselves from, you know, being able to experience life in a different way. You know, sometimes we say to ourselves, uh, you know, I've just got so much on my plate, so I, like I just can't do this. Or have you ever told yourself, I'm so tired? Mm, and then you feel even more tired by telling yourself. Have you <laughs> ever tried getting yourself out of being tired when you keep saying to yourself, oh, I'm so tired, I can't mm. do this? Listen, I speak for myself as well. You know, we, we all go through this. Yes. We tell ourselves stuff. But the more we engage in those silent labels, those are the things that we don't always say out loud, mm. the more we actually keep ourselves in that, in that rut and that yep. mindset. And we get ourselves down. And the, we, uh, to the point that we actually can't get ourselves out of it. Mm. Um, sometimes we're trying to find a solution and we keep on saying, I can't, I can't do this. There is no way out. Or, I, 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 you know, I just... There, there isn't uh, an alternative. Mm, you okay. go round and round. Yeah. What are you going to do? You're not going to find a way out. You're not going to find an alternative. You're not going to get feel energized if you keep on telling yourself, Correct. I'm tired. So when we own those labels, we, and I say they're ridiculous, because we can actually switch it around. Mm. Okay. The first thing we should do is actually acknowledge that there is something, a label going on inside of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our body speaks a thousand words to ourselves if we just listen to it. If we are feeling uncomfortable, distressed, tired, sore, achy, or just feeling an emotion that doesn't feel right, we must know that those are things, it's because of what we are thinking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so that's already your first indicator, that you're busy telling yourself something that's not quite okay. Now, I'm not saying that things maybe aren't difficult out there, or that you're not tired. Like, acknowledge it. Mm. But then, do another ridiculous thing. And try and switch it and tell yourself the opposite. So, if you're saying to yourself, I'm tired, try and say to yourself, I'm not tired, I'm energized. Mm. Okay, so at first, it might seem ridiculous. Even if the most you get out of it is a giggle within yourself to say, like, oh, listen to what I'm saying to myself. Great medicine to laugh at yourself. <laughs> exactly. Already, what will it do? It will shift your energy. Mm. Okay. Laughter is good, even if you've got to laugh at yourself sometimes. But just do that. Become aware of those silent, ridiculous labels and then switch it and say, that is ridiculous. I can. I can be energized. I can find a solution. I've got this. It will change. I'm better than this. I'm not going to be judged. I'm not going to judge myself. And then start switching your, your energy and your, you know, your whole just mindset. Like I said, even if it's what seems like a ridiculous giggle, you're going to get your energy levels up. And I tell you, I've done it myself, and it's amazing what flows after that. Suddenly, you start seeing opportunities. You start seeing something different. You start seeing, like, actually, I'm tired, but what the hell, I'm tired of being tired. I'm, like, switching this around. Or I'm tired of not knowing. I'm finding a solution. Little baby steps, and we'll get there. So there you have it. Some great advice from Claudia on how to take those ridiculous thoughts and to turn it into something positive. We'll be back after the break.